Now your microclimate forecast presented by Bill Howe. Here's meteorologist Carlene Chavis. We have clear skies to see the planet. Drive east. <laughs> I'll answer Thank that. you. Okay, this right is a loaded answer, I can tell. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, Carlo is right. Just keep going. Keep going east. Find a spot that has mostly clear skies because we're still talking about the marine layer next week. Yeah. It's just that it's going to burn off faster, and that looks to stick around to the afternoon hours, so more sunshine by the afternoons. But those overnights, yeah, if you want to see that go east. Let's go ahead and take a look at your forecast. Earlier today we hit a high of 100 degrees in Borrego Springs. That was actually a few degrees cooler than it has been lately. So temperatures are now taking a little bit more of a downward trend for the mountains as well as the desert. We hit a high of 82 degrees in Julian, 82 also for Ramona and Escondido. 83 degrees was the high today. Valley Center right along the coast. Those clouds kept us in the 60s, 67 degrees for downtown. Now we did have a uh, well, clouds still going strong. And we also have those temperatures still in the 60s. For tonight, we have a current temperature of 63 for downtown. Winds out of the south southeast at six miles per hour. You can't see it, but there's a lot of cloud cover still going strong west of the mountains. It will stick around all the way into the overnight hours. Now we are seeing some reduced visibility because of that, and that's really favoring North County. So Carlsbad, reduced visibility down to about eight miles, four miles for Fallbrook, as well as six for Oceanside, and then seeing reduced visibility slightly for Otago. Mesa and that is at nine miles. So a more expansive view of what's going to happen going into tomorrow. We have a trough of low pressure that's moving into the state. So that will bring in that deeper marine layer and even the potential for some patchy drizzle into the overnight hours. Also slightly cooler temperatures because we'll have the winds picking up and that will be mainly for the mountains and the desert. Because of the cloud cover, you're just looking at seasonal temperatures for tomorrow west of the mountains. So we're looking at more seasonal temperatures and also the clouds sticking around. But sunshine and cooler temps for the mountains and the deserts. And just keep in mind, wind gusts could get up to about 40 miles per hour. Now, once that trough does move out, that's when things will really start to warm up. An area of high pressure and a big dome of it will move in. And that means warmer temperatures, even starting this weekend, a little bit more sunshine by the afternoon hours. But it's not until next week. Monday and Tuesday specifically, temperatures are going to be well above normal, and you'll see that in your eight day. For tomorrow, keep in mind that the wave heights about two to four feet. Also, we'll have a moderate risk of rip currents at our local beaches, a water temperature of 63 degrees, and still an extreme UV index. So, of course, you have to slather on that sunscreen. Taking a look at your eight day microclimate forecast, we're back in the 70s for the coast by this weekend, but upper 70s by next week with that warm up, even into the upper 80s, potentially low. 90s for daytime highs in the inland valleys. That will be on Monday and Tuesday. 90s will take over the mountains in triple digit heat as we go all the way into next week. So 105 on Monday, 107 on the desert Tuesday. We're talking about the hottest temperatures so far this year. So if you want to see Jupiter or get really warm, <laughs> go east. Same thing. Go, go east. east. Okay, we got it. Thanks, Kyle. Thanks, Carly. You're welcome.